Duelists Ancient Gear Dragons effect has been revealed and I held gear and keeping my word and revisiting this card for all of you to talk about it. But in addition to that, I'm also going to talk about the sweet, sweet upcoming Ancient Gear monster support in Legacy of Destruction, which should be on its way in the pipeline next month. So leave your thoughts on everything in the comments section below. <laughs> See, this is where it is. But let's get back to this first, and then we'll talk about everything. I even managed to have my old Ancient Gear boys right here. So, uh, yeah. Right out the gate, we have Ancient Gear Dark Golem. This is essentially Ancient Gear in a brand new name. Same stats, same attribute. Nude. And because it is an ancient gear, it's treated as such while on the field or in the graveyard. The second effect of this baby is once per turn. So if summoned, you can activate this effect. You cannot set cards for the rest of the turn. Also add up the two gear town and or ancient gear cards from deck to hand except another dark golem. Then discard a card. If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate Spell or Trap cards until the end of the damage step. So, textbook Ancient Gear stuff right there. But the fact that this thing on Summon, that means normal and special, it literally rotas two Ancient Gears or an Ancient Gear and a Gear Town besides itself, and then you pitch a card. That's actually really good. This might actually retire the original Ancient Gear Golem. And as textbook implies, you know, we have the old school, no attacking and damage. Now look at this thing right here. My goodness. Holy crap, that's Ancient Gear Soldier on a bike. See, this is some amazing stuff. Look at that art. <laughs> Get an idea of what... Uh, Dr. Bailing Crowler's Dual Runner would have looked like had he come in and on Arc 5. <laughs> Ancient Gear Soldier on a bike. That's insane. Somebody needs to make an alternate art where it's doing the famous Akira slide. Ancient Gear Tanker. So we have a level 4 Earth Machine. 1300 both ways. Two effects once per turn for each. If summoned, you can special summon an Ancient Gear monster from your hand, except another tanker, ignoring summoning conditions. Okay, so since it's ignoring summoning conditions, we can pull out the old school Ancient Gear Golem with this bad boy. Or, if your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon it from the grave instead. Ooh. So... It's literally an extender from the hand and recursion all in one. Well, you're definitely playing at least two of this card. You can target one face-up card you control. Destroy it, and if you do for the rest of this turn, all monsters you control that are Ancient Gear Golem or mention it, gain 600 attack. Alright, so boost up for Ancient Gear Golem, boost up for Dark Golem, and since uh, Ancient Gear Frame here mentions Ancient Gear Golem, it goes from 1600 to 2200 for the turn. That's not bad. They had to make Ancient, Ge Ancient Gear Soldier look cool though, man. But when he does the Akira slide, have him facing to the right when he does the slide. That way the arm can't be facing, the p facing people on the cars, being ready to dump on people. Alright, next up we have Ancient Gear Commander. Yeah, get a load of this art. <laughs> Bet you that's getting censored. So we have a level 4 Earth Machine, 500 attack, 2 racks in the back. 3 effects each once per turn. You can send one Ancient Gear Golem from hand, deck, or face up field to the graveyard. And immediately after, normal summon an Ancient Gear monster. Okay, so this mills the original Ancient Gear Golem in the grave. I guess we're still playing that bad boy as a one-of. If you 
summon Ancient Gear Golem, normal or special, you can special summon an Ancient Gear Golem from your hand or graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. Okay, so this is, this literally gets you another Ancient Gear Golem. Alright, so it's a double summon that sends the original Ancient Gear Golem. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a summon, you send the original Ancient Gear Golem, and then you, no, you get an additional normal summon. And this is on normal or special summon, which is great for the second effect. Fact number three, you can banish this card from the graveyard, place an Ancient Gear Continuous Trap from hand face up on your field. Oh, that's, the, that's a bummer. It has to be in the hand, not from the deck. That's a bummer. Now, if it was from the deck, that would have been sweet. Then again, I'm the only person out there in Ancient Gear Town who's playing Ancient Gear Reborn as the face of Continuous Trap. One thing I want to note for these guys is this wonderful card right here that you can currently get. And that's Psychic Processor. This level 3 can be banished if you control it to special summon up the two machine monsters psychic or cyber monsters from your hand this turn which can attack directly so think about that for a minute you banish this you bring out two dark golems and the dark golems can smack your opponent in the face for three racks directly and then after and then the standby phase after it's banished it adds itself back to the hand so i'm glad i pre-ordered two of those things next up we have a continuous spell Ancient Gear Advance. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. And you can't set cards the turn you activate. Okay, so it's an O, and it has the no set stuff like Ancient Gear Wyvern. When this card resolves, ooh, you can add an Ancient Gear Spell or Trap from deck to hand except another Advance. Okay, so we can add... Ancient Gear Fusion or Ancient Gear Fortress. Actually, the, I, yeah, let, let, let me add the Ancient Gear Fortress to have that added protection. Once per turn, you contribute a monster. Draw a card, and if you do, until the end of this turn, normal summon level 5 or higher monsters that are Ancient Gear Golem, or mention it without tributing. Okay, so... That's unfortunate that it's only monsters that mention Ancient Gear Golem. So if the Ancient Gear Dragon, which is that level 5 monster that, we t that we're going to talk about a little bit later, mentions Ancient Gear Golem, that's a free normal summon without tribute. But being able to get the old school Ancient Gear Golem and the dark Ancient Gear Golem to summon without tribute is nice. Especially because Commander is an extra, is an extender. Here's our continuous trap. We have Ancient Gear Duel. Second effect is once per turn. Monsters you control that are Ancient Gear Golem or mention it are unaffected by your opponent's activated monster effects. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, that keeps my Ancient Gear frame from being hand-trapped, since it does mention Ancient Gear Golem. And some of the fusions as well. If your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon a fusion monster that mentions Ancient Gear Golem from your extra deck by banishing materials mentioned on it from your field and or graveyard, including Ancient Gear Golem you control. And if you do, it can make up to three attacks during the battle phase. Ooh, okay. Uh... You know what you're going to fusion summon off of this, baby? Megaton Golem does mention Ancient Gear Golem. But, uh, what you want to summon is this guy right here, Ancient Gear Ultimate Golem. This guy right here is the busted. It requires Ancient Gear Golem, and it even mentions Ancient Gear Golem in the text. So instead of going for Megaton Golem to swing guaranteed three times, you bring out this guy at 4,400 attack to swing three times. That's... 13,200 piercing damage. All right, this guy, that's 13,200 piercing damage. 
doing three smacks at once. Yeah, sign me up. Like, Dark Golem is pretty good support. And with Psychic Processor, you can get one Dark Golem and then one, what is it, Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon. And then you can add a Gear Town, play the Gear Town. And then when you enter battle, Reactor Dragon will attack your opponent directly. And because it attacked, it can blast the Ancient ge the Gear Town to bring out another beefy monster. So it by itself can smack the opponent two times directly off a Psychic Processor. Plus the Dark Golem. Oh, geez, that's game. Oh, that's, that's just beautiful. All right. And now this guy, Ancient Gear Dragon. As I mentioned before, this is a level 5 Earth Machine monster, as you can see. We have 500 attack and 2500 defense. Cannot be special summon. Okay, so that's fine. The other monsters can summon, can special summon Ancient Gear Golems, ignoring summoning conditions. So that's, that's not a problem. Second effect of this card is once per turn. All right. Second effect is once per turn. If you control no monsters or all Earth Machine monsters, oh, that, well, we're supporting two decks with this card, aren't we? <laughs> if you control no monsters or all Earth Machine monsters, you can normal summon this card without tribute. Or you can use it with the uh, Ancient Gear Advance Continuous spell. When your opponent activates a spell or trap, card or effect quick effect send the machine monster from your hand or face of field or ancient gear golem from your deck to the graveyard to negate finally an Ancient Gear monster that can actually negate. An Ancient Gear monster that can actually negate. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is worth its weight in gold. The fact that you can pitch an Ancient, an, an Earth machine, not even necessarily an Ancient Gear. This can pitch an Earth machine monster. To negate. So you can put this in the Earth Machine deck. You can put this in Ancient Gear. You can put this in Machina. And if they make a common version of this, common charity, Ma common charity Machina decks are going to be so busted. You know what? I talked about how level 5 Ancient Gears were not the best. Or not level 5, but mid level Ancient Gears. The level 5s and level 6s were not the best. This is worth playing. Congratulations, Konami. You actually gave us an Ancient Gear at mid-level that's worth playing. Just for the negates. Like, and it's not just, it's a spell and trap negate. Right? It's a spell and trap negate, which is fine. So, if your opponent wants to hit you with something like Triple Tactics Thrust, <laughs> like... Like, if you, if you hit the opponent on Triple Tactics Thrust, or like, what is it? They force you to go first, and they want to Lightning Storm you? Then you can just pitch a machine, like the base Ancient Gear Golem in the gate. But, that's only if they make you go first. Everybody and their mama knows the Ancient Gear deck is a going second, punch the opponent in the face and take all their life points in one battle phase kind of deck. That That's just how the Crowler Town beatdown works. All in all, this Legacy of Destruction support looks beautiful. If they add this card to Legacy of Destruction in April for the TCG, yeah, that's going to be some good stuff. I'm looking forward to see if House of Champs is going to see... Is going to talk about the prices of Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem after, after that Trap Duel comes out here. Because this is going to be nuts. But what do you think about the Ancient Gear support, including this Level 5 Dragon? Tell me in the comment section below. 
But for now, I take my cards to the box because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody.